Yo, what up, you guys? HSTS here, and today I'm going to review the Star Wars Black Series Bobo Fett figure. So, originally, the figure was supposed to be a Comic Con exclusive, and it was, and this is the second wave of the Black Series, and they released this figure as long as the other figure. So, the figure is really cool. So, let's get started with the review, and also, I want to thank you guys for over 100,000 views on all of my videos thanks so much so enough talking let's get to the figure okay so here's a quick size comparison and it looks like Bobo Fett is taller than all of them because his little thingy right there so now let's get to Bobo Fett's accessories okay so for his accessories he comes with his jet pack there is very uh there's a good amount of detail in it you can see some scratches there Looks very nice, and there's a peg right here, a peg hole at the back, and it does fit nicely. It does not come off or anything, and it looks very good. And then he also comes with this gun that is very cool. Um, it is kind of tricky to let him hold it for some reason, but it does work very, very well. And also, this gun works very well too but it is also tricky to put on his hands and there's a holster for this gun right here and for some reason the holster doesn't hold the gun well it's very loose and it falls off a lot well it's not falling off right. so the figure comes with a total of three accessories first he has his gun right here that fits nicely in his holster right here and then he also comes with a jetpack very nicely detailed and you could peg it in in his back and then he comes with a bigger gun right here that has a good amount of detail and it does fit on his hand very well as you can see but it is kind of tricky to fit it in you gotta slide it everywhere and stuff so now let's get to the detail of the figure so I took his uh, all of his accessories off and now getting to his head sculpt I really like the head sculpt on this figure I really like that bullet thing right here it looks like his or the dent in his helmet very nicely done and I like all the silver on his helmet all the scratches and the mailbox looking thing and the and the back also looks very nice with all those scratches and then he has symbols his symbol right there and the uh, forgot what symbol this is called but the symbol right there and all the scratches and stuff and his rocket launcher thing is very nicely detailed I really like it. You could actually see, well, you can't see on the camera, but there's red, blue, red and blue buttons there. That looks really cool on the rocket right there and stuff. I don't, I don't know much about Star Wars, so I don't know what these things are called. And all the pouches right here. And the legs and everything. So the figure is really nicely detailed. And then there's the cape thing. That is very cool. And... It is folded up. I don't know if he wears it like this or he wears it folded up. I forgot, but it's very nicely detailed. It's cloth, so you don't have to worry about it hindering the articulation. So anyways, let's get into the figure's articulation. Okay, so the head goes up about this much and goes down this much and it rotates. And then the arms go 360 in and out. Bends at the elbow, rotates at the elbow, but on this side, just because there's this thing there, it rotates at the bicep and at the elbow, so I thought that was really cool. And it bends at the elbow, only one point, 360 at the forearm, and the wrist go up and down. And then he has this diaphragm ab crunch joint that goes up and down, and it could swivel. The legs go up and down, but these pouches kind of get in the way so you kind of have to go like this it only goes up that high but you could I saw this from another youtuber you can rotate the belt like this and then you can move the legs much better and so the legs go up and down in and out 360 at the thigh double jointed knees and then the foot goes up and down it's kind of stiff and it has a nice ankle pivot so the articulation on this guy is very good so i highly recommend this figure he is the best out of wave one and wave two he his articulation is amazing details are amazing there is no gripes about this figure nothing at all the figure is just 
awesome. I got him for 35 bucks, so that is kind of pricey. Um, he might go maybe at 40 bucks. So if you just see him, I highly recommend to pick him up. Thanks for watching, guys, and um, please subscribe. And I hope you enjoyed my review. Peace out, doggy. Hello, little doggy. Hi, how are you doing, little doggy? Hi, little doggy. Hello, little doggy. Little doggy, what are, what are you doing, little doggy? Hi, little doggy. Little doggy. Aha, uh -huh, little doggy. So cute.